Hello everyone, welcome to my first of two videos opening um, Shining Fates products. These products have been an absolute nightmare to get hold of. I've been lucky enough to get hold of a couple of tins and an ETB, uh, but they are like trying to get hold of pixie dust at the minute. Uh, I can't buy any anywhere, I can't get any stock for the store. Uh, these are going to be for my own collection, so the only things that's going to be going up for sale will be any doubles that I get. I'm hopefully going to try and get a binder of this stuff. Um, I know, I'm aware that that's going to cost me quite a lot of money, but um, never mind, it will be fun. So what I've got today, I've got a Boltund tin, I've got a Cramorant tin, I've got... A Elder Ghost tin, so I've got one of each artwork, so that I've got one of each of these promo cards, and then I have got hold of one ETB. I did order two, but the store that I got them from, um, obviously allocations are quite cut, so they've only sent me one at the minute. I'm still going to get the other one just at a later date. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to open the tins, and then um, I'm going to open the ETB in a, a different video. So. I'm going to crack these tins open and then we'll cut to, cut to the packs. Right, the tins are open, we've got our 12 packs here to open. It should be a, quite a short video but I want to try and keep them uh, short and engaging rather than boring everybody to death. So the first thing we're going to look at is these promo cards. Now these are absolutely beautiful cards. We've got the shiny Bolton V there, we've got the shiny Cramorant V there. And we've got the shiny Elder Goss V as well. Um, obviously, when you're collecting a binder set, getting all of the promos for a master set is preferable. So I'm going to get these all sleeved up. Uh, these are going to be going in my binder. If I do get any more of these tins, obviously I shall make the uh, promos available for anybody that wants them. I would imagine most people are going to get all of these anyway because they bought the tins themselves, but just in case there's any collectors out there that didn't manage to get all of these tins at any point for any reason, um, I'll make them available. So yeah, so there's my three, first three cards for the binder. Uh, as far as I'm aware, every, um, every pack comes with a white code card as well, so there's no sort of uh, code card giveaway where if you get a green you know that got less chance of getting something good. Uh, I think the card trick is four. I've got the energy card so that must be right. Let's see what we get out of this first pack then of these tins. Uh, the top four are going to be from the Cramorant. I've opened them so the top four they're all just piled up. Top four packs are from Cramorant. The next four will be from Bolton. Um, no sorry top four are Bolton. Then we've got the Cramorant ones. Then we've got the Aldegoss ones. So we start off with an energy. Then we have a Tropius, the Gym Trainer, a Floatzel, which the artwork of that is beautiful, a Trapinch, a Yanma, a Coughing, a Morpeko, Horsey. <laughs> first card! First pack! I cannot believe that! <laughs> the Eternitas V Gold card in our first pack from one of the tins. And we follow that up with the Cramorant V card. What a double pull in the first pack. These t <laughs> these gold cards are the ones that are wanting more than the Charizard, believe it or not. And that has come out of the first pack. <laughs> I know there's, there's two of these cards, um, but we've, we've already nailed one of them straight away. Eternitas V. Looks in tidy nick. I think the centering's off slightly. It looks a bit weighted to the bottom there, but that, yeah, getting and a Cramorant V as well. Again, another nice card. First pack. Shall we, shall we just end the video here? <laughs> Obviously, there's a Charizard in this set as well, so you, you never know, do you? Um, but yeah, that's that's one of the big hitters. Instantly there. I've just clicked on something with my mouse. I don't want to stop the recording. I've been known to do that. Uh, let me just. Right. 
pack two, see what we can follow that up with. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing. One, two, three, four. Starting off this pack with a grass energy. Put the energy cards to one side, they don't need to go in a bind them. We've got a Tropius, we've got Ball Guy, Team Yell Towel, Kufant, Gossy Flare, Snom, Coughing, Cacnea, Reverse Hollow RC, and a Volcanian Regular Rare. I do like the artwork of this one. Um, I've been playing the uh, card game recently with the Blastoise and um, Venusaur V battle decks. I had a game against my sister at the weekend, and the Volcanion is in one of those decks. And I was obviously tempted to pull it out to put it in the binder, but I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open some packs and see if it's in there first. I did kind of hope there was an hollow version of it, but I think it's just in regular rare and reverse hollow, which is a shame, but. One, two, three, four. There's the energy. We're on darkness energy this time. Gym trainer again. Cramorant. Tropius again. Snom. Kufant. Grookey. Weasel. Yanma. Reverse Hollow Rusted Shield. And a Yan Mega Regular Rare. Obviously, the binder is going to have the. Uh, what I tend to do when I do the binders, I have. Uh, all versions of cards, so if it comes in regular and reverse, I'll put them on both in. Uh, I do sleeve them up before they go in the binders, I just, at the minute, they're just going to one side, I'm sleeving up the, uh, the shiny so they don't get scratched up. For now, I will sleeve up the rest as well. We're back on to the grass energy now. Dartrix, that is a really nice artwork on that card. Rusted Shield, Ball Guy, Yanma, Trap Inch, Shinx, love that. Rowlet, Eevee, Reshiram, amazing rare! There's um, three amazing rares in the set, as far as I can remember. Obviously, when I get into the ATB, I will get the checklist out and I'll look through. But yeah, we've got one of the amazing rares, and we've got a Lux Ray Hollow as well. Look at that luxury artwork. That is beautiful. These, the, they are knocking it out of the park with the artworks recently. I mean, the uh, the amazing rare is beautiful. Uh, that one's quite, quite well centered as well. Looking at it. Oh no, it's, it's a little bit over to the right, left if you turn it that way. But yeah, they, they're just knocking it out of the park at the minute with the art. That's quite, quite well centered. That one. Um. I think that's four packs. Hang on a minute. We've got four there. Four there. Three there. How many packs is in these tins? Oh, there's five in each pack. Eight in each tin, not four. That's good. Okay. Very nice. That's, I've got one pack more than I thought, so I'm actually opening 15, <laughs> not 12. My bad. Spreading misinformation. There's quite good tins, I'm just used to getting four packs in the tin. Right. Lightning energy. Ball guy. Needs to always stack out of the way, it's from the previous pack. Dartrix again, Eldegoss, Yanma, Marpeko, Eevee, these are really really badly centered. Gossy Fleur, Yanma, Luxray Reverse Hollow, so we've now got that in Hollow and Reverse Hollow form. And we've got a Dreadnought Regular Rare. Into the sleeve it goes. Let's move these out of the way this time and remember. Quite happy with that. A few more packs than I expected, but I get 12 out of this, 10 out of the ETB, 10, 22 packs, and instead I've got 25. Back on with the grass energy. 
Another Eldegoss. Another Tropius. Ball Guy. Coolfant. Spinarak. Snom. Horsey. Rowlet. Reverse Hollow. Grookey. And a Hollow Frostmoth. There are only um, 72 cards in the actual um, Shining Fate set itself. But then there's the Shiny Vault as well. So there's going to be a lot of doubles that comes out of this with the regular common cards and uncommon cards. Obviously the Shiny Vault are all shinies, so um, they're going to be harder to get hold of. Get uh, out to pack. But probably going to end up um, finishing most of the Shining Fates standard set itself before I get onto the Shining Vault thing that hurt cards I reckon. There's our Lightning Energy. Gym Trainer. Cramorant. Tropius. Kufant. Grookey. Weasel. Yanma. Trapinch. There's the one! We have got our first shiny vault card. It's a Galarian Casola. That's what I mean. So these um, these shiny cards come into the reverse hollow slots. Um, so yeah. Of course they're going to be a lot harder to get hold of, but there's some uh, hollow bleed there on the edge. I don't know if, it, if the camera's picking it up. You can just see it on the edge of the card. And we've got a Celebit regular rare as well. So we've got his first shiny vault card. Excellent. So far, I'm really happy with what's coming out of these packs. Considering it's just three of the tins. On to the fighting energy. Obviously the packs are just going on the floor. <laughs> As is the way that I do things, Thwacky. So we've got the Evolution of Grookey there, the Rusted Sword, Rotom, Tutel, Mopeko, Coughing, Gossifleur, Rowlet, Shinx, Reverse Hollow, and a Manfi, Manafi, regular rare. Just um, while we've got everyone, is anyone else looking forward to the battle style set? I mean, I'm hearing a lot of people that sort of like, not really bothered, it's going to flop, it's going to be bad like Rebel Clash, but I'm actually looking forward to it myself. I mean, it, it's obviously nice to get a set that's back into booster boxes. Obviously, Shining Fates doesn't have booster boxes, so it's going to be nice to be able to do box breaks and things again, um, rather than just opening tins and packs and things, but... Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the set with the uh, single strike and double strike. I think it might be a, an interesting mechanic and have quite a lot of nice cards. And I've seen some of the artworks and um, some of them look really nice. Look at that uh, EV swimming. As I was saying earlier, I think they, they are starting to really knock it out of the park with the art on these cards. Kyogre, amazing rare! That's a second amazing rare. There's only one more of these that we need to get now. Uh, so, we're, we're only at three tins and um, we've already got two of the the amazing rares already. Look, the recap at the end is going to be uh, quite interesting. So I'm not going to recap the reverse hollows. We've all seen a reverse hollow. Good cards bent in that one. It's curious. One, two, three, four. That's psychic energy this time. Another Dartrix. We've seen a lot of these. As I said, with there only being 72 cards in the regular set, the commons and uncommons you are going to see quite a lot. But I do want both versions of each card that's available. So we've got a Team Yell Towel Reverse Hollow and a Galarian Weezing Hollow. Pretty sure I've seen this Galarian Weezing Hollow artwork in one of the other sets. But Sleeve, is it? I'll sleeve up all the rest later on once it gets ready to go into the binder. Got myself a nice uh, Voltex Z 
zip-up binder already for this. Right, we have darkness energy. Another team the old towel, another Thwacky, Tropius, Gossifleur, Snom, Trappinch, Nickit, Weasel, Alchemy, Shiny Vault card. It's our second shiny of the video. It's another good pull, so we've got two of the shiny vault cards now. Excelente. We've got something under here. We've got the Delmise V as well. Another double hitter. Excellent. Starting to uh, fill out this binder nicely already. Just a few packs. These cards are really shiny. I mean, not just the actual hollow on it, but the card itself is quite, quite smooth and shiny. So we're into his last four packs. We'll have a look at um, the pulls in the summary form. Ignore this uh, black beam in front of my eyes. It's the uh, camera stand. I couldn't find a way to get it out of view. This is the best I could do. So. Back onto the Psychic Energy. Rotom, Rusted Sword, Luxio, Snom, Grookey, Eevee, Morpeko, Tutel, Revolsol or Morpeko, and the Yan Mega Regular Rare. I'm going to just sort of fly through the commons and uncommons now because uh, you've probably seen most of them already. <laughs> Some of these packs are sealed weird. I'm getting vent code cards when I open them. None of the actual Pokemon cards are selves are bent, but I mean, like. Uh, not, not that one. Look at that. It's bent. You can see the crease across it. Quite weird. Anyway, energy. Fly through these now until we get to the reverse hollow slot and see what we've got. Oh, spinner rack, I haven't seen that one yet. Coughing. Roly Coly! Shiny card. Another one. So that's three of the shiny vaults. And then we've got another Galarian Weezing Hollow. I think that's our first double when it comes to hollows and things. Put that to one side. Keep, uh, I keep hollows in sleeves because some people do want to buy them. I doubt uh, there's going to be a big demand for the uh, hollows and things from the shiny fate, shiny fate set itself. Probably going to be more demand for the uh, shiny vault cards. So let's, uh, got Professor's Research Reverse Hollow and there's a rude regular rare in that pack. And we're into the last pack now. Not pull the Charizard. I mean the, the first first pack we opened with the Eternatus V Gold card. It's, <laughs> it's kind of uh, blown it all away really. So we've got the energy, Let's see what we get in this last pack. Ball Guy, Flacky, Cramorant, Cacnea, Horsey, Cufant, Tutel, Yanma, Rillaboom, Shiny V. That's another one of the Shiny Vault cards, a full art Shiny card in the right reverse holo slot. And then we follow that up with a Manafi regular rare. Right, I'm going to have a little quick tidy up around here and then we'll have a quick uh, recap of what we managed to pull out of these cards, these packs. Right, so I've, I've separated the rear solos out, obviously we're not going to go through the promo cards again, you've seen them. So, starting from our last pack and working backwards, we got the Full Art Rillaboom V Shiny card, Shiny Vault 105 of 122. We've got a Roly Coley Shiny card. We got the Delmise V, 
the Alchromate Shiny card, we got the Galarian Weezing Hollow, we got Kyogre Amazing Rare, we got Galarian Casola Shiny, Frostmoth Hollow, Luxray Hollow, the Reshiram Amazing Rare, the Cramorant V, and the massive, massive pull of the Eternatus V Gold card from a first pack. <laughs> so, um, let me know your opinions on the set, let me know what you're thinking about battle styles, are you looking forward to it like I am, or are you not bothered, do you think it's going to be another Rebel Clash like a lot of people do? Um, if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button down below, um, subscribe to the channel, I've got the ETB to open, so stick around for that video when that comes out, and I'll catch you, hopefully, in the ETB video.